This is an initial impression of the WG39 IDZ stock and rail system. Box it came with standard styles with pretty much exactly the same as the original rifle it came with. The difference is it used foam packing. Awesome. As opposed to zip tied. So don't expect this to have a breakage issues. Um, I do have heard in the past where it, they use zip ties and stuff breaks in there. The stuff we're going to talk about is the IDZ, which is this one, as well as the rail system, the one up here. We're going to start off the rail system and just dis discuss the difference between optic. This is an initial impression, so over time it may be a little bit different, and I'll post it if it changed dramatically. Otherwise, I'll just annotate it. The real optical rail system is features similar to much like a SOA style, looks similar but a little bit different in that it has a has flip up sight, non adjustable unfortunately, not even you can't switch to a bigger hole. But the the rear is no blockage here, so it looks kinda like SOA, whereas the SOA does not feature rail all the way through. The original one features this integrated optical side. You cannot remove the back. You could remove it, but it just looks kind of weird. But essentially, the difference between them is there's a blockage here. This is the forward position of the charging handle. This is when it locks back. The second thing is rail space. This one has a total of 26 points if you remove the optic. The IDZ version has a 32 points if you flip the sight down and stove it out of the way. That's 32, so that's a little bit more better, um, especially if you are you plan to use it for a G36 or a G36K, where the handguard does not have a rail system. There's very few manufacturers these today that has a rail handguard for the G36 and G36K without using a complete aluminum handguard. With that said, the major complaint I have with the original well, optical rail system site is the sight are not truly adjustable. The reason I said that is because the elevation, if you push it all the way down, is still not zero at over 50 feet. At 20 feet, it's perfectly zero. Unfortunately, we don't shoot 20 feet that short. So when it goes up, the sight actually aims lower than the actual hitting point. That's an issue with this one. The, the windage one is also an issue in that it's just use a basic screw with nothing holding it so when it shoots it just wobbles out so sight general long story short don't trust it good for decoration not so good for use unless you're playing less than 30 feet then it might be useful otherwise to me it sounds like a danger because if you don't know where you're going to shoot it's not good on the IDZ version it's not adjustable the problem again is it's not adjustable and it doesn't shoot where it it doesn't aim where it actually shoots. So in other words, this one still aims lower than it actually shoots. So if I shoot around here, it prob if I aim if it says I'm hitting in here, it probably shoots up here. Alright? But it's also off. Alright? If when I did a zero quick zero at 50 feet, it was off to the right top. Meaning if I it aims here, but it will actually shoots on over here. That's the trouble, but in store, long story short, I like this rail system. It gives me more options, especially I got more real uh, estate than the original one. Let's talk about the stock now. The stock is a collapsible one with adjustable cheek rest. All right, this is a three position adjustable with a five position adjustable one, if I remember correctly. All right, now the, there's three kind of major stocks um, for the G36. The skeletal stock, like these ones, alright, the KVE style stock, um, it's no, used by Latvia and Lithuania, um, replicas made by GMP, recently Ares as well. And if you want to count, there's an adapter for an AR, it's also currently a replica made by Socom Gear, and this one. Now, there's couple of distinct features on this one. First of all, it's adjustable. With that said, skeletal stock are all the options. The KV style stock um, is adjustable, but it does not feature a cheek rest. It does not feature adjustable cheek rest, and it does not feature injection port covers. What the problem is for a gas blowback, if you use one with Zell, is the gas will hit the stock. 
all right? And that means it would reduce the efficiency of vaporization and cool down will be settled more rapidly than before. The downside of the AR style tube adapter is it sits really low, approximately over here, and that if you do that, your cheek weld is totally lost, okay? You, the Skeleto stock, you can get away with it. Um, integrated optic works the best, but Skeleto stock will work. KV cell will work. AR stock tube won't work. The good thing about adjustable stock for this, this one is because simply the design of the G36. G36 real design is actually meant to use an uh, integrated optic, like this one. But the problem is that when you use a rail, it puts higher. This is two inch higher to the rail. If you use like an AR style optic, such as EOTech or ACOG, it raises even higher. Now, if you do that and you use a regular stock, your cheek well is lost. So if you, you can just adjust it to the top and now it's done. You can compensate it for a bit. The next thing good about the stock is the length of pole. Length of pole is defined to the stock to the pistol grip. Currently, it's in the shortest position or storage one. You can extend to the longest one. On the shortest uh, position, it is actually shorter than a compact stock. This is an Aries G36K. It, it uses a compact stock because I like a shorter length of pole as I use a plate carrier with my airsoft. If you set it to a position three, is the same as a G36C stock. So if you don't like this too short, extend it. If you think this is too short and you want a full size stock, fifth position. Then that way you can get it away and use the full size one. Okay? The good thing about this, even if you don't like to use the shortest position, you can store it in your case. It's a lot easier and it works better. If you, if it's up to you, um, personally for me, I like the shorter stock plate carriers. The longer ones, it's really hard to do a sight without choking yourself with the neck guard. So, shorter stock is good. The neck other thing, up to dispute in your preference, is the shape of the stock. AR stocks are straight, flat ones. G36 ones traditionally has a concave, which means it bends in a little bit. All right. Well, the IDZ version features a convex, which is aiming out. This is good if you like to use plate carriers, or if you're just a person that prefers using this. A prone position, to me, it feels more comfortable than using this because the lower half kind of pushes you in there. Just in my opinion, that's the difference. Finally, the one thing I want to discuss is material. The IDZ and stock and rail kit uses the same polymer material as used found in the stock. This is just me, but in terms of my opinion, I think the stock and the hand guards are made by a different manufacturer or at least different material, different grades of material than the receiver. The reason I said that is because if you look at the texture of the stock and the hand guard compared to the receiver, to me the, the receiver it's a little bit more softer. It's not, as, it's not as aggressive in terms of texturing outside the feel. Um, it actually looks a lot smoother, slightly, but not much. And it also, if you kind of compress it, when you take it down, compress the middle, the receiver looks pretty fragile to me. The stock, it's not as strong as, say, the Aries ones. This is an Aries standard G36 stock. This is the WE one. The Aries ones has a little bit more aggressive look than the WE. WE is the one on top. Both ones have seam lines issues, um, also found in the HK ones. But additionally from that is the WE one has a tendency to lose the rubber padding. It's a poor design that they didn't make a rubber at a slightly the smaller hole so they fit tighter than the Aries one. Aries one you won't lose it. For WE one I lost a couple of times once practicing already. So not as good. Thankfully the IDZ version just don't use a rubber pad. That's good in my opinion. Now, for the material on the second part affecting the rail optical rail sight, don't use this as a carrying handle. Yes, you could do a carrying handle, 
I'm actually holding this so um, but it's pretty fragile too it looks really fragile and it flexes. to me that's a good a, a sign saying this is an issue there all right um, you could use it as a carry handle but if you break there goes your rifle drop to the ground um, if you really want to use a carry handle use integrated optic sight all right speaking of which just from W Airsoft, their YouTube video stating that they don't recommend using any replica um, integrated optic just because none of them truly hold zero. There's people using the Chinese one, ACM ones. They don't last even a magazine. There's people using the Aries Star one, maybe lasts a magazine or two, sometimes even less. And there's people using classic army ones. Once again, they failed. All right, so far, all of them, the W test, they say it all failed. And it's the reason why they decided not to go with integrated optic, along with the cost itself. With the integrated optic, if you really have to use it on a WEG 36, 39, you are only left with one option, and that is the hand salt, H-E-N-S-O-L-D-T. That is the actual original manufacturer, real one, that makes the G36 optic. They are pricey. Pricey as in $400 for a three times optic. If you want the rail on the top, that would be like around $600. If you want the both side, dual sides with the red dot on the top, it would be like $900 to $1,000. So, and by the way, the, the dual optic is discontinued discontinue already. So that's the issue with that. The good side of that about the integrated optic is you actually get a, a carry handle and the stock actually makes it works with it originally. But that's about that. Um, along with final thought on this overall impression so far, the pricing, you can find it anywhere from $55 plus shipping to 60, maybe $70. I seen the highest is 72 plus shipping. The reason I said plus shipping is because the $50, $55 one, I believe was Aerosol Body, they, their shipping charge was a lot more expensive than all the other ones. They rate much higher, so they kind of hide the cost there. Um, on the $72 one, I believe it's RSOV, and that's just because they're a little bit further away from Taiwan, which is the original W manufacturer site. The cost itself, it's mixed to be honest. I was actually hoping for they would release just the stock itself. All right. If they release the stock itself and sell it for forty dollars, I would take it. It's a really good. It's a good stock. Um, and frankly, there's not much better to choose from right now than that one. Um, as for having a set, let's say a set the, the price at the average around sixty dollars. That that would be a fair deal. Only that you're buying for the stock and the rail. You're not buying for the site. The site. Is dangerous to use to be honest I would not trust a site that can't even be adjusted and is off that's the downside um, the good side is you got a stock which I really love I don't know how many times saved that already and a rail um, rail site 32 is 32 mounting spot as opposed to 26 is a good addition up to your personal preference if you want a more militaristic look then this one suits you better this is actually from G36 C compact style. Well, this one is more like a DMR style ish, kind of like SOS, SO9 style. So that's about that. Um, if you guys have any questions, just drop it by in the comments box and I'll try to answer as fast as possible. And that's about it. Oh, the one thing I would say right now for people who's going to ask is does the stock for the IDZ version fit on an AG? The answer is a no, not a drop in. You could mod it, WE stock on W stock on the right, IDs Aries on the left. Aries has a bigger pinhole than the W one. You need to make a bigger pinhole, otherwise you can't stick the pin in. If you use the W pin, it's gonna rattle like crazy. Alright guys, thanks for watching.